This presentation is one of a series by Salon Studies at Hairdressing and Barbering at Level 2. It's a general presentation all about hair covering aspects such as hair growth and the hair stages of growth, the hair follicle and its different parts, hair damage and the causes for hair damage and different types of hair. Here we see the hair and the hair follicle. We see the medulla, the cortex and the cuticle, which are the parts of the hair. And then looking at the skin we see the epidermis, sebaceous gland, nerve endings, the outer root and the inner root sheath, the hair matrix, the dermal cells, and the dermal papilla and then the blood supply through the blood capillary network the hair bulb the hair root the erect pili muscle and the hair shaft the hair structure the hair follicle is formed by the lowest part of the epidermis growing down into the dermis here the blood supply feeds the dermal papilla with nutrients and oxygen. At the point of the matrix is where the hair cells to begin to germinate and harden. And the hair bulb is a fleshy moist part of the hair. The root of the hair is where the keratinization takes place. The hair growth cycle. Hair grows in a continuous cycle. There are three main stages of hair growth. Anagen, which is the hair actively growing. Catagen, the stage where changes occur. And telogen, the stage where the hair follicle rests and no hair is growing. The anagen growth stage. This is the longest growing phase and affects 85% of the hair at any one time. And the average anagen growth phase lasts from 1 to 6 years. People with long hair have a long anagen growth cycle. And people with a shorter anagen growth cycle will never have long hair. The catagen phase. At the end of the anagen phase, hair growth stops. This is the catagen phase and it lasts roughly two weeks. No new cells are produced in the dermal papilla and the hair follicle shrinks to one sixth of its original length. The telogen phase. This is a period of rest for the hair follicle and the dermal papilla and the telogen phase ra roughly lasts for 10 to 12 weeks. About 10 to 15 percent of the hair follicles are in telogen phase at any one time. And then the anagen phase starts over again. Hair re enters the anagen growth phase, the follicle lengthens downwards, and the dermal papilla becomes active again. What ways can you think of which the hair can be damaged? Here are a few reasons. Chemicals, such as perming, colouring, or through chlorine from swimming pools. Harsh products, or shampooing too much. Hair can be damaged by physical means such as vigorous brushing, towel drying, or heat from dryers, straightening irons and heated tools. Hair can be damaged environmentally through sun damage, salt water and pollution. Or through lack of care, not having hair trimmed, not using conditioner. Internal nutrition or poor diet. The different parts of the hair. The cuticle. The cuticle is the outer layer of the hair. 
it has overlapping scales that make the hair waterproof. The cuticle determines the condition of the hair and if the scales are neatly closed the hair will be smooth and shiny and in good, good condition. If the cuticle has been damaged though the hair will be vulnerable to water getting in or chemicals and pollution. The cortex. The overlapping scales of the cuticle protect the cortex inside. The cortex is where the melanin or hair pigments are stored and this determines the hair colour. The cortex determines the thickness, the elasticity and the strength of the hair. But it is not yet known why hair loses its colour when we get older. The medulla. The medulla is the inner part of the hair. The medulla is not always present in all hair types and is intermittent even if it is present. The medulla allows light to reflect which makes the hair shiny. There are three types of hair, lanugo, vellus and terminal. Lanugo hair is the hair that develops on an unborn baby. It begins to grow about three months after the baby's conception. The hairs are fine and soft and they grow all over the baby's body. They all grow at the same rate so the hairs are all the same length. Some prematurely born babies are still covered with these downy hairs but these are normally shed about four weeks after the baby is born and this is replaced by vellus hair. Terminal hair. This is the hair on your scalp, eyebrows, lashes, underarm and pubic areas. These hairs grow from deep follicles. They are strong hairs and contain pigment or colour. They can be straight, curly or wavy. Vellus hairs are short hairs. They are found nearly all over the body. They are only one centimetre or so long. They contain little or no pigment at all. And the follicles that produce them do not have any sebaceous glands. Hair disorders. There are a number of hair disorders including alopecia, hypertrichosis and hirsutism. Alopecia. Alopecia is the disorder where the hair is lost. There may be several reasons why this occurs. Long-term chronic stress, shock and sudden extreme stress, physical trauma, local skin injury, a genetic predisposition, or possibly viral bacterial infection. It can also be caused through pregnancy and hormones, or allergies, chemicals, and possibly seasonal changes. Hypertrichosis. Hypertrichosis is hair growth above and beyond what is normally expected when comparing it to other people of a similar age and sex. Hair can develop all over the body or more like in small patches and areas. Hirsutism is excess terminal hair growth in women and with a male distribution pattern. This excess hair growth is limited to one or more areas including perhaps a moustache, beard and chest. Hirsutism is usually associated with hormones. Things to remember. What does keratinization mean? Is the hardening of the hair or skin or nail cells? Which layer of the, of the epidermis grows down to the dermis to create the follicle? That's the basal layer. What does the dermal papilla do? It nourishes the hair bulb, providing nutrients and oxygen to allow for hair growth. And where do the hair cells begin to germinate? They germinate in the matrix. What is the name of the fleshy moist part of the hair? It's the hair bulb. Name the layers of the hair. There are three, the cuticle, cortex and medulla. What are the three main stages of hair growth? Angen, catagen, and telogen. And we give the name for hair loss as alopecia. What is the name for excessive hair growth? That's hypertrichosis. That brings our presentation to a close. Thank you for viewing.